Yeah, um, I definitely expected a dog fight uh, with them. Uh, really well coached team. Um, I kind of uh, see some similarities in, in their mentality to us, just how they go about their organization. Um, so I knew they were going to come out and fight. And uh, you got to win in different ways in this league, and I think we could win in a lot of different ways. So. Um, just scrappy. We had a lot of guys go down. Um, we had to pick up the slack. Um, hopefully nothing too bad, but uh, just sticking with it and playing physical like we always do. And, uh, our offense is pretty good. How do you feel like your defensive line group did with Eric out today? You definitely miss him. Um, that's for sure. He's a great player, and but I think we stepped it up pretty good. It's hard for me to tell when I'm out there um, what guys are doing, but we made some good plays, and um, I'm excited about Kalia and, and JK coming along and Kevin, so. It seemed that there was some creativity in the alignments up front. I don't know if that was a direct byproduct of with Eric and, and Javon being out, but there was the play where you lined up over center, and there was one where you and Chase were on, on the same side. Both of those were, were very effective. How much did you enjoy being a little bit more versatile in that regard. I like that, yeah. It's tough without a camp, because um, I've, I've, over the years I've been on the edge so much, and, and it's it's definitely a lot quicker and different inside, so I'm not always super confident about it. But um, I think if I can continue to get reps in games and, and get a better feel for it, um, I, I think it could be a really good change up now that we have guys like Chase and Randy who could they deserve ops, and uh, yeah, it's, it's good for us. What kind of challenge was defending uh, Drew Locke, and was it a different kind of challenge than defending GM? Yeah, he was getting it out pretty quick. Um, I feel like a lot of backup quarterbacks uh, in the league now kind of like sit behind guys and really understand the scheme. Um, they can't necessarily do all the things a starter can, but um, like the play action stuff and all that, when you have really good players like BK and, and Lockett, um, he, he can get the ball out quick and, and give him opportunities to make plays. And I think he played pretty good. I think you mentioned the number of guys that are kind of leaving the game and out of the end of injury stuff. How aware are you of that like during the game? And does it change anything in terms of you know, you know understanding your rush lanes, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, you definitely notice, um, especially when it's D-line guys getting out. Um, you just have to try and crank it up another notch. Me and Fred kind of tell each other, like, we have to step it up to make up for that. And um, it is an eerie feeling when guys are dropping left and right. Um, but this time of year, everybody's hurting. Um, but yeah, hopefully nothing too bad. It was, a, it was a while ago, I realized. In 2019, you guys kind of went through something like that on the defensive side, right? Yeah number of injuries kind of been just a little bit. Is there anything you can take from that experience if you do have guys miss a week or two here? Yeah, it's just about um, the younger guys just being ready for their opportunity. And I think a lot of guys have come along um, throughout the season. And um, it's going to be, I mean, you could be the, the second guy or like the fourth guy in the rotation and something happens and you're one of the most integral parts of, of the D-line. So everybody's just got to be ready and, and pick it up. Nick, you showed a, little Last one, guys. showed a little more emotion there on that fourth quarter sack you had. It usually mild manner, it usually gets your pose, and, but you're pretty fired up there. What was going through your mind in that moment? Yeah, my celebrations are pretty, um, pretty relaxed these days, but I was very disappointed in myself for the penalties I had today and um, making up for it with the play is it makes it a lot better. Go ahead, Brandon. Nick, you said plenty about how great Fred Warner is over the years, and he is. Um, might this be the best he, he played, I guess, this season? Definitely up there. Um, I think he's going to be a lock all pro. Um, I think he's the best at his position in the league. Um, so. Best, and that's no question. Does a guy like that get in trouble for laterally? 
I had no clue what was going on on that play. I was running off the field, and then I ran back on. My helmet wasn't strapped. I'm going to get some, some guff for that. Um, I'm supposed to be blocking people. Um, we, we want to score on defense, and I did not help there. What can you say about Demo and just his development over the last couple of years? And it seems like he's ready yeah, to Yeah, I love, I love Demo so much. I'm so sorry for taking a pick six away from him last year and another interception this year. And um, But he's, I mean, he's come so far just as a person. It's funny because people come into the league, they're kids. And sometimes this new generation of kids, not that I'm an old guy, but they're different. And it takes them a minute to understand how to be a man and, and become a man. And I think a lot of guys have done that. Yeah, it seems like he was ready to just get scrappy with whoever was coming at him. Yeah, I was supposed to be on the field to grab him and pull him away <laughs> like I did last week. <laughs> but you didn't? <laughs> I, was, I was too tired. <laughs> it's like a little rabid dog out there sometimes. <laughs> but you enjoy him? Oh, uh, well. Do you do anything for him? Because yeah. That, that, you know, I should get him a gift. <laughs> Christmas. Uh, Christmas gift, yeah. I need to step up my shopping. I haven't got too much of it done yet. So. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Thanks, see you Wednesday.